in overtime. Man, can you explain it, Ryan? No, I can't. I can't. It was, uh, it was hell an effort from the boys coming back there. Big kill to start the overtime period there. Bob obviously did a great job coming in and, you know, shutting the door for us. So, um, you know, obviously need four. So forget about it and on to the next one. Ryan, you, what was your what was your emotion when you got tapped on the back that you were from Joel Quenville and the coaches that you were going out onto the ice in overtime to try and win this hockey game? Yeah, let's go, let's go. I was waiting for that chance. Um, all it takes is one shot, one opportunity, and you know, on to game four. Ryan, take us inside the dressing room because. You know, that's not many times you give up five goals in a period in a playoff game and win it. What went on? What was said between the second and the third? You guys came out with great heart. Yeah, obviously, you know, that's not, not the period we wanted. Uh, boys obviously weren't happy. Leaders, you know, spoke up, made sure, you know, game's not over. We got a lot of work to do. We're going to win this game and, you know, look at it now. Did someone go get the puck? Yeah, <laughs> we got the puck. Yeah. I hope so. A lot more to go. Hey, congratulations. Great goal, man. You deserve it. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Ryan Lomberg does all that dirty work. Gets the game winner. At that point, that was your first shift in OT. I don't even think you had a shot on goal up to that point. Just kind of take us through that moment once you kind of realized you want to break away there with the game on your stick. Yeah, I, I don't remember too much, honestly. I just, you know, I, I kind of knew what I was what I was going to do ahead of time and, um, you know, obviously worked out pretty well. What can you say about the fight of this team? You guys give up five goals in the second period, but you come right back out in the third, tie of the game, and then eventually get the win there. Yeah, no, you, you said it. There's, uh, you know, obviously not the second period we are looking for, but, you know, we, we know... Uh, how good of a team we are. We know what we're capable of. Um, you know, there wasn't any quit for, for even a split second there. So, you know, proud of the guys, but, you know, put this one behind the, uh, behind us, sorry, and, and on to the next one. Dan Rosen, NHL.com. Ryan, I don't know how much this plays a factor, but sometimes when you make a goalie change, it kind of gets everybody going. And I'm curious, when you see Bob come out to start the third after the way it went in the second, that, what was the reaction for the team? And do you think that helped ignite any of this comeback? Uh, yeah, you know, obviously it's a bit of a momentum change. You know, Bob came in and, and did what he's capable of, shut the door and, and allowed us the opportunity to come back. So, uh, you know, proud of him and, and proud of the boys, obviously, for for doing that. George Richards, Florida Hockey Now. Sorry about that. Hey, Ryan. Uh, congratulations. Jeez, uh, what a crazy game, right? I mean, for people at home, could you just talk a little bit about the intensity and what that playing in this game felt like? <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's everything, you know, when when you're a hockey player, a young kid growing up, it's it's what you dream about, the, the NHL playoffs. Um, you know, it's it's more intense and faster and, you know, there's more emotions than I ever thought there would be. So it's it's a dream come true. We're, we're having fun. Um, but, you know, there, there's an ultimate goal and, um, you know, we're working towards that. And until you're in elimination mode, it's not a must win. But how close was this tonight? You guys had to win this one. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're playoffs. Um, you know, obviously there's no points. It's first of four wins. Um, you know, we, we were treating tonight. Uh, like a must win. You never want to be down 3-0. Three, three oh. So, um, you know, tremendously proud of this group. Um, you know, showed showed a lot of character and uh, put it behind us and on to the next one. Here we go. Dave Hyde, Sun Sentinel. Yeah, uh, could you take us through the goal? What what you saw, what you, um, and what you expected to see out there? Yeah, uh, you know, Cookie made a, you know, obviously snapped the drawback, uh, went back to Goods and, um, you know, he kind of flipped it out to the neutral zone. Frank made a nice play, kind of advancing the puck behind their D. And then, you know, I, I was I was in alone. So it was a great play all around. Good execution. And what was the biggest goal? Obviously, this you haven't scored a lot. You're not a, you're not a big goal scorer. But what was the biggest goal for you before this one? I have two. So probably my first one. <laughs> It would be obviously Lombie is a guy that's been sticking up for you guys all series long, you know, throwing hits, getting in scraps. Just what does it mean to see a guy like that get an incredible game winning goal like that tonight? Yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. I mean, a lot of emotions tonight. And uh, a guy like that, that, you know, bring emotion to the, to the, the game, to, to our team. And uh, he's always there on the ice, on the bench. He's, 
you know, getting the guys going and on the ice, he never takes a, a shift off. Uh, hitting guys, uh, he can he can play with the puck too and make some good plays. And you know, I think it's well deserved by him and uh, just a huge goal for us. We really needed that win, and uh, he made it happen. But a David Wilson, Miami Herald. Hey, Hubie, you guys have been pretty successful against Vasilevsky all year. Um, obviously, you've seen him a lot, too, just over the last couple of years. When you guys are down to it, does that just kind of give you that extra confidence that you guys can pull off a comeback against him and, and put the goals up that you need? Yeah, I think we're not we're not thinking about that, really. I mean, we know he's a good goalie, but we can beat him. I mean, we're good enough to beat him. And uh, a lot of games, we scored a lot of goals against him. So I think uh, tonight, again, uh, you know, six goals. So. I think, you know, we know we were just going to make it difficult for him and uh, puck, puck, puck will go in. And I think that's what we did tonight. And so we got to win. David DeWork, Local10.com. Hey, Hubie. Uh, just the way that game was so back and forth and, and after you guys came back in the third period, what was the discussion during the intermission knowing that when you guys came out, you were going to have to kill off a penalty and how good their, peak, how their power play has been so far? Yeah, I mean, uh, we know the power play has been really good in this series especially and uh, you know they have good players but we knew I mean in our in our mindset I think it was you know we're killing this penalty and after we go we're gonna win this game and that's what we did I think that the guy PK came out really good we didn't give up you know anything on the on their power play which was good and after we just took over and got to you know a little break at the blue line and a big goal by Lombie. Was there anybody that maybe stepped up and said anything in particular uh, in between the intermission, or uh, was it more of just a quiet confidence type deal? Uh, after third, I mean, obviously after second, a couple of guys uh, said something. I mean, you know, we didn't have a we let up, you know, five goals, so that's not uh, what we want to do. But uh, yeah, I think uh, you know the leaders stepped up and said something, and after everybody followed in the third, big comeback, two goals, and after you know, after the third, I mean, uh, we knew we had to kill that penalty. We did. Thanks. We'll take a few more. We'll go to Dave Hyde, Sun Sentinel. <clears throat> hey, we'll go to George Richards, Florida Hockey Now. Hey, Jonathan. Um, did you say you guys had some some words said during that second intermission after the five goal period? Uh, yeah, we did. I mean, uh, I think uh, it was frustrating. I mean, we were in a good spot after after first period, two nothing, and. You know, we do that in the second period. I think, uh, you know, we just got to be smarter with their decision, play our game. And, you know, that's what they kind of, you know, we, we had to assess that after second and kind of, you know, not panic. But I think it's like, you know, you don't want to go down 3 nothing in the series. So I think it was huge. And the guy answered, I mean, answered the bell in, a, in the third period. Worked hard. And uh, it's a huge comeback for us. I mean, series 3 nothing or 2-1, it's, it's huge. And now game four, I mean, uh, we just got to come out and be be better. Obviously, good start like we did, but we got to play like this for 60 minutes. They beat you twice in your building. Can you beat them twice in theirs? Of course we can. I mean, uh, I think, I mean, obviously, the home advantage, it's not uh, great in this series. So, uh, I mean, yeah, we, we believe we're, we're a good team. I think, uh, you know, we know this. We just got to you know, they're good offensively, we know that. So we just got to, you know, we're not going to win every game 6-5. So I think we got to adjust to that, and be better defensively. And I think, you know, we win game four, come back home, and it's an even series. We'll take two more. Katie Goss, Valley Sports Florida, followed by Nicholas, LNH.com. Well, Jonathan, you said it right there. You know, 2-1 is very different than 3 nothing, and this game felt that way. But just what kind of renewed sense of confidence do you have, not only with the 2-1 series, but just to be beating this team in the postseason? Yeah, I mean, I think game one, you know, could have went either way. So we were close in all the games. And I think, you know, we know we can beat them. I mean, it's just a matter I think of sticking to our game game plan and do it for 60 minutes and obviously tonight a lot of emotion a lot of up and down but that's what hockey, hockey is all about and we just at the end of the day you know we got a big goal in OT came back in the third and it's going to do and now you know we forget about the past it's 2-1 and focus on game four and you know get be ready to go and even the series. Really a unique situation for you to come in there um, what can you just say about, you know, this team's ability to come back tonight and the fight you guys showed? Yeah, I think I'm really proud of the guys. You know, we were up, we were down 5-3, and after that second period, we regroup, you know, and win, get, get the W. 
it's a, it's a big win for us, but it's only one game. So we are to enjoy tonight and get ready for the next one. Next one. Dan Rosen, NHL.com. Hey, Bob. Um, what are you thinking there uh, on the bench as this second period is unfolding? Are you mentally preparing at that time, or do you not even do that? Do you wait until the intermission? How, how did you handle that situation when you also, you know, you play game one, you don't play game two, and now you might have to get called upon to, to help save a season, essentially? Yeah, I just, you know, I stay focused, you know, I'm, uh, I do my preparation as, as, as I, as I play, you know, and uh, during the game, I stay focused, I stay ready, because it's, as you said, it's the playoff hockey, everything could happen, you, you, you just have to be ready for the guys, you know, guys work hard, and uh, you, you have to make sure you do your best to get the chance to get in, and, uh, do your job. George Richards, go to hockey now. It's easier said than done, though, isn't it, Sergey? I mean, you know you've got to do your job, but you guys are... Was it almost that you guys just didn't have anything to lose there, down 5-3? No, I think, you know, after the second period, the uh, the guys, couple guys step up, told the word, and, uh, you know, we never, like, I think, hope through, throughout the season, this team has tremendous ability to come back. doesn't matter how much deficit we have, you know, and uh, it was one of those games where we get together, and one at a time, and we pulled the W. So it's 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 big win for us. We uh, we're gonna enjoy it tonight and uh, get ready to work on Saturday. And you've won the last three playoff games in this building. The, the last two with Columbus in '19. And did you hear them play the Columbus goal song right before Lumberg scored? No, I didn't. Yeah, but <laughs> they did. Yeah, it was it was weird. But anyway, I thought maybe you might have heard it, but. No, I don't. Um, anyway, two, two straight, three straight playoff wins in this yeah. building for you. I, you know, I, I don't think that much free. I don't think about statistical uh, points. You know, I thinking about only just one shot at a time. Be focused, be ready, and uh, you know, again, one shot at a time, win the moment, and move to the next one. Coach, that game had uh, quite a bit of everything. What are you saying to the team heading into the third? Just it was a complete transformation. What what changed? Uh, I just thought that hey, we had an amazing uh, you know stretches in the, in this game and I think in the series as well with nothing to show for it. We're down two 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 goals and we had a good press there. And I thought uh, you know the guys still had a lot of enthusiasm. Could have been more proud about the way we competed in that third of a team. And you look at uh, what could have happened, who would have been at, and uh, now all of a sudden it's a, you know the picture changed completely in a, in a short amount of time. But, uh, hey, we've been working our tails off. It's an unbelievable series. The pace is unbelievable. Um, you know, keep our composure and let's be smart about it. And, uh, that's a, a big win. I love how Bob came in and really settled things down. Dan Rosen, NHL.com. Joel, I wanted to play off of that point with Bob Rosky. Obviously, I mean, your goalie gives up five in a period. It's notable. That, I mean, you, you we see changes happen like that. You go into the different guy, but this is a guy you took out after game one. We don't know how his mental mindset could have been in that situation. What was, what did you see from Bob and, and uh, tell me about your belief in him a little bit. Uh, did it grow even more tonight? Uh, I thought he, uh, you know, Bob has been, been fine. I think that, uh, you know, he's he did love to have the net and I think his, uh, Ways handle a situation where he watches his partner get uh, back-to-back playoff games. I'm sure that uh, he would like that uh, to be him. But uh, I, I got to commend him on his attitude and uh, being ready and prepared to come in. And we're talking in the coach's room there. If Bob can keep him at zero in the third period, you know, we got a chance here. And uh, he did exactly that and made some key saves, but looked like he was sharp, fresh, likely he was right into the hockey game. So good job by him getting himself ready to go in that situation in a, in a game where, hey, we needed him big, and so uh, he did exactly what we're looking for. And uh, if, great response. If I could ask a quick follow up, is it Bob's net now? I think that uh, we're. I think you're on the right track. <laughs> we'll go to George Richards, Florida Hockey Now. Sorry, I didn't get to ask. Um, just a look. Just you are. <laughs> How many times have you you've been through a lot of these and you've seen playoff series turn on a dime? Could this be just a huge moment for your team? I think we've had a lot of uh, interesting bounces in the series, and I think that uh, 
you know, we finally got uh, one going our way here with the win. And uh, we needed something to feel good about ourselves. I know that we had a great run for the whole year, and all of a sudden uh, the alternative of tonight's result uh, would have been a really ugly, you know, damper on the whole year going into the next game. So I thought uh, the resiliency that we showed kind of was reflective of what we did all year, finding different ways, uh, some guys being the heroes, but the battle that our team had uh, all year and then these three games has been great. Um, so, I mean, we got a great team over there. It's one game, but it uh, certainly uh, gives us uh, something to get excited about and find a way to channel the momentum that you have. And the, the five forward look on the power play there when you guys were down a goal, or I think you're down two at that point, just a little bit on that looked like they were moving the puck pretty well. Now it's a different look, a different idea. We'll see whether we got a D at the top or not. Uh, got two different options there, but certainly, uh, you know, sometimes power play can be effective uh, <clears throat> with uh, different guys, different looks. They don't uh, see that coverage or haven't seen it as well. And that uh, they're not familiar with what's going to happen next. And I think that predictability sometimes can, uh, you can it be in your favor. But, uh, you know, it wasn't fancy stuff, but uh, great around the net. And Horny does his thing. Amos and then Sa- Sasha Barkov, is he good? I mean, he went out for most of the first period. Yeah, he's fine. Go to Jamison Olive, FloridaPanthers.com. Hey, Coach, before the playoffs, we talked about how, you know, in the postseason, guys come in from out of nowhere to become heroes. Uh, to see Ryan Lomberg, you know, a guy that does a lot for you guys, get the, the game winner tonight, just what did that mean? Lombo hadn't played in overtime, and uh, Frankie and him uh, and Hatch, you know, hadn't hardly been on the ice. And uh, they looked at me like, we got to go on our own end here. I, I, I don't know exactly what they're thinking, but I was kind of like, I'm just assuming that was probably going through the fine. But they, uh, you know, they had to, uh, to face up on the other side, and then they, uh, you know, got uh, got a win on the other side, on the right side, and you know, got a fortunate bounce in the neutral zone and a great shot by Lombo. But it's a, uh, you know, a lot of times in overtime, it's the guys that are least expected to score come up large, and uh, the enthusiasm after that goal or win uh, as high as I've ever seen. Hey, 